Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Uh, today's video we're going to be following up my previous video on indie emulation and today I'm going to be showing off a piece of software by my friend Fletchable. Um, this is called Indie EMU here and what this is is this is a uh, MAME container um, self-contained into one little application that's uh, simple um, and it allows you to uh, launch a MAME uh, emulation uh, you know an indie, uh, indie virtual machine uh, just from the click of a button, no half. You don't have to go into the command prompt or anything like that, like you do uh, just using MAME on its own. Um, I'm going to go over um, uh, just basically what it does and what it looks like when it's booting up, and just compare it to you know, compare it to um, uh, just regular MAME. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up, and it starts up in full screen mode. And so I'm going to have to come over here and change it. Oops, hi there. Actually, while well, that's coming up, I'm going to do this. And here we go. I'm going to stop for maintenance. And so here we are. Um, uh, I've actually been having luck getting into IRX without a sending mo uh, sending some commands but I have one that I still need to send it was the monitor command so oops uh oh my bad I have found that I think there's a problem with my hardware and MAME does run a touch slower. Uh, but I do think that's my hardware and not the application. Click done. And while this is starting up, I do want to say thank you again to Fletchable for providing me with this. Uh, he's a great guy. I'll have his channel linked down um, in the description so you can go and check it out. As you can see here, we're starting up the system. Hi, and I'm back, and it looks like we are uh, just now here. Let's log in. We should be able to log in under the demos account. I don't typically log in as root when it comes uh, to Linux or uh, Unix. And it should come up here. I believe we're booting into IRIX 652. Uh, I'm going to make sure of that though once everything comes up here. Okay. I don't exactly know what this means, but uh, I'm sure someone out there does. So if you can make any sense of that, uh, let me know in the comments. So let's continue on here. Uh, button fly. That opened up since I, I assume they opened it up because it's uh, the demo account. Let's move it down over here. Maybe this installation of IRIX does have some demos that I can show you. I could be wrong though. We're going to find out though. Let's open it up. Again, I think my hardware is playing havoc with this uh, uh, version of MAME, so excuse that. Nope, well, we're going. It's coming along. Let's select OpenGL. Oh, that's what's taking up system resources. Netscape's still trying to open. Forgot about that. Should close it? Maybe not. Yeah, let's come in here. It's a touch hard to aim. 
Come on. You know you want to. Quit. Hmm. Strange. Anyways, I guess we'll come back here to Buttonfly. Oh. Nope. I lied. Here it is again. Trying to load this up here. I guess we'll let it load. Yeah, maybe uh maybe later if I have time I'll register. Depends. What's in it for me, eh? Alright, I'll quit this. Ah, nineteen ninety-three web design, eh? Alright, let's try open gel again. Yeah, it's doing the same thing it did uh, back when I tried it on the um, other emulators, or on uh, the more advanced method. Um, yeah, apparently it just doesn't want to work with demos. That's so fine. We'll quit. Maybe. If it wants to. Quit. There we go. Okay, let's go to system and system manager. Aha, yeah. You can kind of hear some sound effects, they work, but uh, they're very slow. Okay, so as you can see here, it's virtually the same. Uh, you're emulating a MIPS R4600 and then 128 meg of RAM uh, opposed to, I think, no, maybe I'm imagining that. Never mind. Um, uh, and I think you get the 24-bit uh, new port. That may not be new port. I don't know. Don't at me on that. Uh, <laughs> and then the uh, A2 audio processor, whatever that is. So now that we're up through here, I'm going to shut it down, and I'm going to show you uh, how, you know, what it's like trying to log in. Uh, ooh, no, actually, before we do that, I was wrong. We're, we are running uh, 6.2 uh, IRX. Um, I think I said 6.5 earlier. Anyways, we're going to shut down now. In fact, I think I might as well just... Um, I'll tab here. Yeah. And change that. And we're going to click close on that. And here we go. So now that that's closed, I'm going to open up my SJND folder here. And so basically, uh, I have it easy for myself. Uh, I have just a bat, a batch file there. But basically, this is what you have to enter to a command prompt every time you want to launch the emulator without indie EMU. So uh, let me open a command prompt here. No, let me uh, run it as administrator. Here it is. So basically, you'd have to go e colon cd mame uh, and mame 64 window mouse uh, ui underscore mouse uh, cheat hard one dot roms irix 62chd and you'd have to do that every time you start unless you made the bash file oh yeah and i made a i, I messed up my syntax there oh did it again eh try that again hmm oh what did i do I know what I did. Again, I'm not thinking straight. Sorry. Uh, it's, it's a late night. Anyways, and that was how you would uh, start it up. Again, you can hear the, the Indies boot up chime. It's just a little uh, slow.
12 minutes. And yeah, there you go. So again, I think this is a little bit of a shorter video, um, but I just wanted to go over uh, that. It is it is seriously a really cool piece of software. Um, I do think uh, it, it is definitely the future, as of right now at least. Um, I really hope he continues to uh, um, uh, recompile it when uh, newer versions of MAME come out. Uh, it's an excellent piece of software, and I totally recommend uh, checking out his YouTube channel. He just recently uh, acquired a SGI Octane, and he's released a video uh, not an hour ago. So, um, uh, from where I am now, on the 30th of December, 9.03 p.m., where I am. Um, so, I definitely recommend checking out his channel. It'll definitely be in the description. And uh, thank you, Fletchable, for sending this software over. Um, thank you guys for coming along. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.